The Arts Arena is a nonprofit, multidisciplinary initiative in the arts, the visual arts, the performing arts, meaning theater, music, dance, film, and very importantly for me, a forum for culture and society where we deal with arts that are dealing with social issues. We've now put on over 300 important cultural events and all of our events are free and open to the public. You can imagine with events being free, the Arts Arena has the most diverse audience imaginable. I like to say that we could have a person who could literally buy the Paris Opera sitting next to a person who can't buy a ticket to the Paris Opera. And they each have the same access to, let's say, Willem Dafoe or Barishnikov when they come to an Arts Arena event. I absolutely wanted to give the broadest audience possible exposure to the finest in culture. I experimented every day with anything that moved. I began to sculpt in a studio of an old sculptor and do whatever I want. And he occasionally came by and taught me things. This was like a fevered dream. I mean, I, it's, I, I didn't really care what people thought or, or how, how uh, what the road was. I just knew that I had to take it. To uh, steal from Hemingway, we're somewhat of a movable feast. We have events in all sorts of different venues here at the Hotel de Talleyrand on Paris's famous Place de la Concorde. We have the privilege of giving concerts on these premises and other times we've done events at uh, public theaters, we've done things at Columbia University's global centers at Reed Hall on the left bank, we've done events in funky lofts, we've done things at the Golden Gallery, the Galerie Doré of the Bank of France. And these venues are given to us free of charge because the people involved like the content that we bring to these venues. It is my great pleasure to present to you conductor David Stern, Alexander Neff, the extraordinary dancer Friedman Vogel, Laurent Lebon, Michel Gondry, Jennifer Tipton, Kaije Kagami, followed by Boomerang. Rufus Wainwright, Lucinda Childs, the film, and then Lucinda Childs, present in person. My friend, James Conlon, Robert Wilson, Isabel Huppert. I think it's a miracle that we exist 15 years out having done an average of 20 events per year. So I'm really, really pleased <laughs> to be able to say 15 and still going. There's something which like comes out of you, which I didn't know of myself. Music was our religion. In theater is, is true composition. And as Marjorie has said, I feel that it is composition in space and time. I had a tonette shoved into my mouth when I was 10. It's full of every energy speed imaginable, and it will be changing constantly every second. I believe in thinking and reflecting time. I believe in looking out the window. There's a kind of opening of horizons that you start thinking more freely and more creatively, and you're not just locked in to what people told you or what a textbook has told you. And I think that art does all those things. I mean, if you look at a painting, it's not telling you, you have to see this in such and such a way. An opera or a concert, they're not telling you how to hear it. They're offering something to you and you can let your mind wander. You're not thinking about paying the electricity bill, hopefully. You're in a different space. And I think that for our humanity, for our living together, for our survival on the planet, and as a civil society, we need room to be in a different place in terms of our, our thoughts. And I think that art is one of the rare creatures, if I can put it that way, that opens that door.